Wound care has become a recognized specialty that requires a physician to focus on the treatment of chronic wounds. We spoke with Dr. Francis S. Lee, who explains this new approach to wound care. Wound care in general uh, encompasses a lot of diagnostic criteria, but top five things that I should see usually is a diabetic foot ulcers, uh, decubitus ulcers, where people had pressure ulcers from other areas like nursing home or outside of the hospital or even in the hospital. The third most common one that I sometimes see is the edematous leg, uh, varicose veins, veins that are not working, so they have a venous stasis or venous insufficiency, so their legs swell and then they start breaking down. Uh, so those are the things that I see. Four or five, I would say, is arterial insufficiency where you do not have a good arterial inflow. You don't have an oxygenated tissue. So you have ischemic legs and you start breaking it down. And the other fifth category would be a traumatic burn wound, et cetera. Uh, you mentioned bullet wound. Yes, I sometimes see that. Or if the surgical wound has not healed. So there are many, many people out there that has different types of wounds that we need to see. There's a full spectrum of people that you and I probably don't even think about because the wounds long time ago was never a big issue. But now with uh, people getting older, more active, we have uh, many patients that come in all walks of life with non-healing ulcers. The physiologic makeup of the wound has changed. In 1970s, we found out that there are more people with a chronic ulcers than cancer. They had to do a governmental study to find out how many people are actually suffering from this and if it is indeed a neglected field of science. And they found out that that was the case. There are billions of billions of dollars being wasted because of the complication from non-healing ulcers. And we also found out from doctor's standpoint that acute ulcer, such as a bullet wound, knife wound, is totally different than chronic ulcers. Within the last 10 years, the science of wound care and wound healing for the chronic non-healing and we call that senescent wounds, the wounds that do not respond to regular dressing changes, debridement, et cetera, has evolved to the point where you need a specialist to deal with this. And uh, St. Joseph Hospital is one of the very few forefront runner in this area. We recognized 10 years ago that there is a definite need for physician-driven team approach to these chronic ulcers because we're seeing more and more elderly people. It's a fine science. It requires a long-term training. It is a specialty in its own right. In my experience, there are numbers of patients that are suffering needlessly uh, for a wound that has not been well healed. First of all, it is painful. Secondly, it has a lot of nursing implication the caretakers just cannot take care of them because of the location of the wound. They don't know how to do the dressing. They don't know how to deal with the mundane things like smell. So these patients not only have to deal with the pain, because any open wound or ulcer is quite painful. If you touch it, uh, if you don't dress it correctly, if you don't put the right things, it can be very painful. I think the, the majority of my patients um, want to get back to their normal life, and they want to be pain-free. They want to be free of this, this uh, chain of pain. They just want to do a resumption of normal life to the end of their days uh, without any kind of problem this, uh, from this chronic ulcer. And they're highly motivated people. It's just that there's a segment of the population that just cannot take care of themselves. We have to take care of them.